Hey everyone, it's Bargain Princess. So I wanted to come on here really, really quick and show you some amazing stuff that I picked up from Wet n Wild. Now, pardon the appearance. I just got a class. It is Thursday afternoon and it's just one of those days that you just want to be scrubbed out but still look cute at the same time. <laughs> but seriously, I'm just wearing a long sleeve sweater long sleeve gray sweater my favorite scarf i wear the scarf all the time just because i love this pastel purple color it complements my skin tone really well i am wearing these coal earrings that i showed you in my latest jewelry haul and as for the hair i have my hair up in a high bun very high bun and I'm rocking my hair gems do you see them super cute love those things and I'm wearing this dirty headband gross <laughs> as for the bottom half I'm wearing my black uh, ankle leggings that I got from forever 21 oh my god this is so uncomfortable and I'm wearing these super cute boots that come up to my knee but I always scrunch them down it's cuter like that I got these at Charlotte Russe like a couple years ago and they're still in good shape and they were I believe $20 I think oh you can't really see them but yeah that's what they look like oh that was super uncomfortable I do not work out so whew. okay so on to the good stuff the wet and wild haul slash review now to be honest with you I'm normally not the one to buy wet and wild products I do however love their mega liners love these things if you're looking for a change like let's say if you wanted to switch up your black eyeliner just use either one of these liquid eyeliners they're so pigmented they glide on so smooth and they're only a dollar ninety nine okay I'm done with the rambling and the chit chat I promised you that this is gonna be super quick <laughs> but seriously on to the haul when I first went to my Rade Aid which was late Sunday night there is a setup of new products located to my left right when I first walk in and when I first saw these four palettes I thought they were originally made by Revlon or L'Oreal Hip just because the packaging was sleek and it looks like a Revlon packaging and the eyeshadows I thought were made by L'Oreal Hip just because they were super pigmented and they look like something L'Oreal Hip would do but was I wrong this palette right here is by Wet n Wild it's called Lust and they also had three other palettes to choose from which was called Pride, Vanity, Greed and I got Lust so the only reason why I got this two reasons why one reason was because I don't really have a lot of purples, so I ended up choosing this for that reason. And then for the second reason, do you know why? You probably already know why. It's because of this color right here. That purple shimmery color. Isn't that gorgeous? And, you know, it took me about five minutes after I got in my car to realize that this eyeshadow right here is similar to Max eyeshadow called Beauty Marked. It's a deep burgundy color, gorgeous, gorgeous color with reddish pink shimmers in it. Super, super pigmented. Look, I'm not even. I don't even have anything on my hands. No primers. No nothing. Just, I'm just gonna swipe it. Look, look at that. It just easily picked up on my hand. This palette right here is super pigmented. Do you see those sparkles? Oh my god, these are gorgeous! I'm gonna take this finger, clean finger. Look at that. Just one tiny little swipe. Isn't that amazing? The matte eyeshadows are not chalky whatsoever. I have better pictures on my blog. If I sit here and swatch all of them, then that's gonna take up more time. And like I said, this is gonna be a really quick video. I highly recommend this product. Highly recommend it. It's great. It's affordable. It's what more can you ask for? Whew, so excited about that. As for my nails, do you see my nails? Look how gorgeous they are. This is also by Wet n Wild and it's called Glitz. Here's what the packaging looks like. Super cute, right? It kind of reminds me of Kat Von D's 
uh, eyeshadow palettes or just makeup line in general just because it looks so artistic looking. I don't know. That's just my opinion. But you get a lot in here for only $1.99. It's point thirty four fluid ounces. And here's what the brush looks like. It's kind of a small brush. But you have such a large handle that you can easily apply the nail polish. I do have to say that the polish, when you apply it on your nails, it's a little clumpy, but you have to be quick with it. You have to work fast, apply even strokes, starting from the middle of your nail and working your way down. But I can't complain. It's only $1.99. And look at the results that I get. I've had this on since Sunday night, and it's now Thursday night. Can you... Can you believe this? I don't know seriously if it's this or I use Nayleen's Acrylic Strong Top Coat. I honestly don't know which one made my nail polishes last this long. I'll probably do another review because seriously for my nails to still be the way they are since Sunday and it's now Thursday night, that is insane. Insane! And both of these can be found at your drugstore. They're really affordable. I honestly love these two products right now. Love them, love them, love them. My nails, still the same. Can you believe that? The only thing that's different is that on the tips of my nails, they're starting to fade, I guess is the right word to say. But they're still sparkly and girly. <laughs> okay, so enough with the nail polish. I picked up one last thing, and that's Mega Eyes Cream Eyeliner. And let me just say... This eyeliner is the bomb. Along with these liquid eyeliners, this cream eyeliner is sh the straight up bomb diggity. I love, love this cream eyeliner. This is better than L'Oreal Hip and it's 10 times cheaper than L'Oreal Hip's cream eyeliner. I purchased this also. I purchased another one about a month ago. And here's what the inside looks like. I've been using this for a month, for about a month. And let me just say, this cream eyeliner does not budge for instance let me show you look at that nothing 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 look at I'm wearing it right now it's very pigmented it has not creased I've been wearing this now since 7 in the morning and it's 623 in the in the afternoon I love love this stuff okay that's it no more, I'm done with the talking. This is supposedly my quick haul, so I hope you all enjoyed it, and let me know. Oh my god! Look what I picked up! I did a video, a uh, Rihanna makeup tutorial, and I had two L'Oreal um, pink lipsticks, but they just was not the hot pink matte lipstick that I was looking for, but I picked up the two most requested, talked about lipsticks from Wet n Wild and that's number 511B and number 521A. There you go. I don't have it on my lips right now because my lips are jacked up. This cold weather has gotten to my lips. It's all flaky and no, it's gross. I'm getting off topic but mm -mm. no pictures will be up on my blog with these because my lips mm -mm. so <laughs> I just want to say thank you so much. These hot pink uh, lipsticks are perfect. They're super pigmented. They were only 99 cents. I am really loving 511B. This is my favorite hot pink lipstick. Look at that. Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. This is better than the L'Oreal uh, lipstick that was seven bucks. And then here is number 521A. It's a little bit darker, I want to say. It has more of a fuchsia tint to it, and this is more of that hot pink that I was looking for. So number 511B is my favorite hot pink lipstick. Okay, I'm done. Thank you so much for your recommendations. I truly appreciate it, and I will talk to you all later. Bye! Star Trek, <laughs> Star Trek, but I'm um, getting off focus again, I really am, I need to stop this.